what's up guys welcome back to my channel thank you guys so much for watching this video if you're watching and you're not yet subscribed kindly consider subscribing to the channel and if you want to know where these gowns are from kindly be checking on the description box we'll sure share with you where you can get the, the beautiful gowns that we're sharing with you guys today also do not forget to hit that notification bell so that you're notified each time you upload a new video you can also give this video a thumbs up because that helps to grow the channel and also leave me a comment in the comment section kindly let me know which gown for this video is your favorite and why Today's video is also a continuation of our previous uh, videos where we were sharing with you some of the pros of, you know, renting a wedding gowns or everything that you need to know about renting a wedding gown. This, that is the series that you're working on right now. And in today's video, we're going to be telling you or sharing with you the cons of renting a dress. And the first one is that you could have limited options. So if you're looking for a very specific style or are a picky shopper, renting may not be the best choice. Not only can style options be more limited, but you may find that certain dresses aren't available on the date that you need it. Even if you do find a gown that you like, it may not be in your size and you're usually not able to make alterations so it fits, it fits you like a glove. If you're ordering online, there is always the chance that the wedding dress of your dreams arrives and looks completely different than the picture. Luckily, most rental services give you the option to order the dress just to try them on before committing to renting them for the big day, but that comes with a cost. Another con of renting a wedding dress is that you're responsible for the damages and fees. When renting a dress, uh, fees can quickly add up. You may have to pay extra for shipping, insurance, and late fees if you're running behind. You also risk paying for any damages from wine spills to lipstick stains, torn hems or, uh, to busted seams. Your wedding dress can go through the ringer on your big day while insurance covers minor issues. Brides usually are responsible for the cost of the dress if there's any significant damage. So the last con of renting a wedding dress is that you won't get sentimental aspects. So if you want to keep your dress forever and possibly pass it down to the next generation, a rental probably isn't for you. For some brides, an heirloom wedding dress holds memories of a lifetime and renting a dress takes away the sentimental value. So guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. We'll be able to continue uh, with our tips for renting a dress on our next video. So kindly hit the subscribe button uh, and also hit the notification bell so that you're notified each time you upload a new video. And I hope to see you on my next video.
say to me now? I wanna wake up with you in the morning. Show me this other fake to me now. I wanna wake up with you in the morning. 